friends, hi yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a yoga for flexibility flow. Uh, all yoga of course is good for flexibility but the goal of this will be more stretching um, as opposed to like strength building and uh, everything like that. We'll have a little bit of it but the main focus is stretching. We are going to be moving through a bit more of a vinyasa uh, with today's stretch flow though. Uh, so come to starting just in a comfortable position. I'm on my knees here because I find it comfortable. Um, you can be on the floor, whatever is best for you. And we'll start with some breathing and some cat-cow to start warming up our spine. So we'll inhale, arch here, then exhale, rounding out the back. Inhale, arch. Exhale. Getting our spine moving, getting our breath. We really want to use our breath throughout this flow to help guide our movement and the breath is actually going to help you deepen your poses. As you inhale, think about expanding your low belly and your breathing diaphragm in all directions and then exhale, squeezing the air in and out. Last one here, exhale. Now walk forward onto your fingertips just a moment. We're all going to come onto our uh, toes here, get a quick feet stretch, so um, balancing on your toes, really pointing and lifting up, stretching the bottoms of your feet. And then from here, walking yourself out, got strong fingertips, strong palms, coming into a plank position. Inhale, extend the spine long, slight bend in your elbows, and exhale, weave yourself back into downward facing dog. From here, you can start to walk the dog or pedal out the feet, bending one knee and then the other, starting to stretch the backs of the legs. Keeping that breath going through that the whole flow, really exhaling through your nose. And settle into your down dog for just a moment, stretching again the backs of your legs. And from here, you're going to come onto your toes again, bend the knees and elbows and wave yourself forward back into that plank position. We're going to come onto our, our side, so coming onto the outer right leg back here and step your left foot about halfway up your mat. You want 90 degree angle in the left leg, really pressing into the mat with your feet and the edge of your right foot. Left arm can unfold to the sky, starting to stretch our outer hip. Just holding this pose for a few breaths. Make sure that you're not sinking or sagging. You really want to press into the earth. Everything that's touching the earth really grounds and presses away from it to lift you up. And from here, we're going to come all the way to the ground now. So fun, funky transition here. We're going to come onto the ground and kind of recenter on the mat. So now you have your left foot on the outside of your right leg. Just start by sitting tall, you can even um, cup your knee and hug your knee to your chest a little bit to get a bit more of a stretch. Really extending and waving the spine long out through the crown of the head. And from here, we'll do a bit of a twist. So twisting towards the left knee. When you twist here though, twist with your core strength. Let that determine how deep your twist is. Find that place and then from there, you can ground your fingertips into the earth and extend long through the crown again. You can use that the breath to take you a little bit deeper, but again, twisting from the core strength, you're not yanking with your arms. That'll make you twist more than you should and you might hurt yourself, so don't do that. And back to center for another Fun, funky transition. You're going to bend your bottom knee, planting your right foot on the earth, and extend long through the crown of the head again, keeping our spine long with all of these. We don't want to be arching or rounding or anything weird. Really using your fingertips to support you. And of course, just finding that first edge of stretch. I do yoga all the time. I've been doing it for many, many, many years, so I am pretty flexible even if I'm not super warmed up. If this is too much for you, 
back off. You can be here if that's where you have to hang out. Wherever it is, I want you to find that first edge of stretch and hold it for just one more breath. And then slowly walking yourself back onto your arms, onto your back. Left foot meets the earth now, so you've got feet firmly planted. We'll do some therapeutic bridge ways. So grounding into the earth with your feet, we're going to roll your spine up off the ground, one vertebrae at a time. Arms extend, reach above you. And exhale, waving everything back to the earth. Nice slow movement here, really grounding into the earth, feet are planted strong. Inhale, waves you up. And exhale, waves you back down. Last one here, inhaling up. And exhale, back to the earth. Now from here, Hug your knees into your chest for just a moment, and we're gonna rock and roll up if that feels good to you. It's a nice massage for the spine. And from here, finding your way back into the plank position. So coming into your plank, make sure your shoulders aren't too far forward over your wrists. Tiny bend in the elbows and exhale, wave yourself back to down dog. And pedal out your feet again. Notice even just that quick little stretch already started opening up our body and our legs. We'll try that whole sequence again on this side. So waving yourself forward, coming onto the outer edge of your left foot now. Right foot steps about halfway up the mat. Like grounding into the earth, lifting up. Right arm unfurls to the sky. So again, everything that's on the ground really Grounds into it, presses away, use that ground reaction force to lift yourself up. Should feel nice in the hips here, starting to open up your hips. Get your uh, right T-band stretched out. We tend to have a lot of tension there. And last breath, holding it up here. Now we'll make our way back to the floor with our first funky transition. Extending our left leg long, right foot is now on the outside of our left leg. Inhale, extends the spine tall. Again, you can hug your knee into your chest. And then from here, taking that twist. So using your core, your uh, oblique muscles to do the twist for you. Find where you need to hang out in the twist. Again, don't use your arms to yank you. Find where your twist is and then you can hug your knee Again, plant your fingertips to extend taller. You can even look over your opposite shoulder if you want a little bit deeper twist for the neck. Re-engaging that breath if it's going anywhere. And pacing forward again. Now finding your bent knee version of the stretch, so planting your left foot, finding the first edge of stretch. You've got your right foot flexed, helps protect the knee while your leg is in the air and really extending tall through your spine through the crown of your head. A little bit deeper into our hips now. And it might be different on each side, so that's okay, our bodies aren't totally symmetrical, so just finding where that first edge of stretch is on each leg. It's not good or bad, but either way, just find where it is and hang out. Perfect. As you take that last breath, now you're going to walk yourself back down onto the mat and hook that right foot both feet are planted into the earth now for those therapeutic bridge waves so inhaling arms stretch up above you exhale inhale get a nice stretch on the front body lines exhale very 
nice last one here, inhale up. And exhale. Hugging your knees into your chest again. Give yourself some love and you can rock side to side if that feels good. And then if you want to try the rock and roll, you can do that. Or you can find your own way back up into down dog. Strong fingertips planted on the earth. And we'll all meet and settle into our down dog position. Letting your heels just naturally make their way towards the earth. You don't have to strain to have them touch the floor or anything like that. Just let gravity kind of gently invite them down. So from here, strong fingertips to ground to the earth, slight bend in your knees and elbows, lift your right leg to the sky, open your hips up to the right and just drop your right foot behind you. Getting into our hip flexors, our psoas, Continuing that stretch down the front body lines. Now square out your hips, keep your knee bent. You're going to bend your knees and elbows, exhale, bringing your right knee towards your left elbow. Come to the inside of your left foot this time. Fun, tricky transition here too. Extend your right leg, plant it onto the earth. So now we're on the outside edge of our right foot Inside edge of our left foot, we'll come into a fallen triangle position here. And you can stay here if this stretch is enough for you, or if you want a little more of a challenge, extend your right arm to the sky for a fallen star. You can even extend overhead if you want a little bit deeper back bend. Planting your left foot, coming back into the core plank. You're going to lift up, step your right foot towards your right thumb. Come onto your back knee. We're just going to take one breath here. Getting into the hip flexor a bit deeper. And exhale, sitting back, finding that first edge of stretch. You can flex your foot, point your toes to the sky if that feels better for you. Have a slight bend in that right knee. You just inhale, wave the spine long, and exhale, sink into this forward fold variation. From here, walk yourself back forward, strong fingertips to strong palms, really lifting in and up as you step your right foot back to your plank position, slight bend in your elbows, exhale, Back to downward facing dog. We'll try that on the other side. We've got two legs, thank goodness. So inhale here, left leg lifts, open your hips to the left, and the left foot drops behind you this time. One last breath here, and then square your hips back towards the center. Knee stays bent. We'll try that fun transition. So twisting your left knee towards your right arm, coming onto the inside of your right foot. Left leg extends out in front of you. You're on the edge of that left foot. You can stay here in your fallen triangle, or right arm can unfurl towards the sky. Again, if you want more of a back bend, you can extend your arm a little over your face. making your way back to center, really lifting that left knee in and up through that core plank, stepping your left foot towards your left thumb, planting your right knee. Inhale here for just a quick moment in that right hip flexor stretch and exhale, walking yourself back and flexing the left foot, toes go, go towards the ceiling. So you have a slight bend in your left leg, your knee. Inhaling, wave the spine long, and exhale, settle into this forward fold. And 
You're walking yourself forward again. Strong fingertips to strong palms here. Stepping yourself back into your plank. Slight bend in the elbows. Exhale. Back to your downward facing dog. Pedaling at your feet again. Noticing how much more open your legs are with these stretches that we've been doing. And just settle into that dog pose. We'll do one more quick little vinyasa, super adventure style. So inhaling, coming onto your toes, bend your knees and elbows really deep. Give yourself plenty of space to wave forward to plank. We're gonna come into a slide plank position again. This time, scooch forward so I don't hit the wall. This time, step your left foot behind you. So you've got it still about a 90 degree, it's behind you. From here, you can sit on the ground and just reach up and stretch if that feels good to you or if you're ready for a wild thing challenge. Lift up off of your hips and extend your left arm really long, reaching. Stretching all of your front body, getting a good back bend. And exhale, making your way back to your plank. Slight bend in the elbows, exhale, waving back. Try that on the other side, of course. So inhaling onto your toes, bending knees and elbows, waving yourself forward. So coming through your side plank on left side, step your right foot behind you. Move up so you can see better. Step your right foot behind you. Again, you can start sitting here. You can just extend towards the sky. If that's enough of a stretch for you, that's awesome. If you want to bend your knee, do it more like this. Whatever feels good for you today, find the best position for your stretch, but really lift up long, extending through your spine, through the crown of your head, reaching long with your fingertips no matter where you are. Holding it for a couple more breaths. And exhale. Everybody making your way back to plank. No matter how you were doing that stretch, exhale. Back to your down dog. We'll do one vinyasa to get everything kind of settled and together. So inhaling here, bending knees and elbows. Exhale, waving forward, moving all of that energy together through your body. Coming onto your knees, lower through chaturanga this time. Inhale here, prepare, rolling your shoulders um, down and back. Waving your spine in and up. You can look to the right, look to the left. A little neck stretch as we pause here. Inhale and exhale. Back to child's pose. Very nice. You can rock your hips back and forth here if that feels good. You can bring your hands behind you if that feels good. You can take your final rest in child's pose if you would like today or make your way onto the mat, lay down in Shavasana for a couple minutes if you have time. Let all of that stretching and flexibility settle into your body. Hopefully you enjoyed those fun vinyasa flow stretches. It's kind of a fresh way of getting some of those stretches in but still getting the body moving. So hope you enjoyed it. Definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat again here soon. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. You should get notifications then every time a new video goes up. Also make sure you get on the League of Nerdy Yogis email list because I have exclusive content for you there. Namaste.